we are actually in the real fort and we're in the same place in Second Life. Under the tunnels, the mines, we turn off the electricity so that we have petrol lamps and we walk through those tunnels. In one of the towers we have a computer room. We sit around like the knights of the round table. We try and get into a kind of role play. At one point there's no more instructions and we just see what's going to happen. My name in Second Life is Cyber Piper, but now I'm more often known as Hauptmann Weidert. We built a simulation of the Fort Tüngen in its version of 1867. The characters, the soldiers, the uniforms, the weapons and everything that was in it. Local people from here, they can discover their own history, but also tourists, because we can use these characters to tell the story. They travel back in time. 1867 was a very important year. There was a big crisis all over Europe. The Emperor of France wanted to buy Luxembourg. The British called a conference in London. They came to an agreement that Luxembourg would become totally independent. independent. In order to prevent a war between Germany and France. Part of the treaty was to demolish the fortress. Up to that point, the city was locked up at night. You weren't allowed to go out. There was hardly any culture. And then it started growing. Started Both growing. culture, commerce, growing. and commerce. inventions were inventions. starting. The, the beginning, beginning of our modern age, age as we know it now. When they decided to demolish the fortress of Luxembourg, Hauptmann Weider decided to measure it and to construct a plaster model of the whole fortress. That model and other historical photos and maps were the basis for our recreation in Second Life. In Second Life you have already the possibility to build things with the engine that's inside Second Life, so you can just put out a cube, you can stretch it, you can put holes in it, you can put out a cylinder, transform it, cut it. Now we have the possibility of course to import anything from an outside 3D building program in the shape of meshes. We use Blender and we do the textures with photo programs like Photoshop. Digging into that period gave us the idea to build the whole city of Luxembourg, as it's fairly small as compared to other world cities. So we started to build the next suburb in virtual reality, the Pfaffenthal. And although the accurate modeling, the construction of the project, the, the detailed textures are very important, this virtual Pfaffenthal really comes to life because people start to move in and they start getting settled there, kind of like what happened in the real life of 1867. People can discover history by living in it. The Luxembourg City Museum, which is hosting our exhibit, has 10 regular computers with avatars that are already logged in and ready for visitors to explore. And we also have two Oculus Rift stations. I have people from all walks of life and all ages. Some are a bit scared, some say they never have anything to do with computers, but then usually they learn it pretty fast. Virtual reality does not have to be a, a way to cut yourself off from the real world. The big promise of virtual reality is that it can connect us with reality in a different way. I think it should be part of the future of museums. I think that every museum should have things like that. If it's a natural museum, people should be able to travel to the jungle or go under the water to discover natural life. If it's a museum about science, people should be able to travel to Mars and walk around on Mars. The point of this project is not to replace traditional history books or history courses, but just to give people a feeling of what life was back then. relate to this very well because they can learn history in a very playful way. As adults we can learn from them, we can participate in shaping this story and Second Life is the center of it. Everything down here, my daughter just asked me, we're going to go down there and see the horses because she's used to going into Second Life with me. It looks exactly the same and so she, she's asking for the horses. <laughs> That's the power 